Can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Iron Workshop. In this episode, we'll be learning how to share and care for one another. <laughs> nah, just joking. We're going to learn how to create civil wars. Let's roll the intro and get to it. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is to create my new mod for the Civil Wars just so that we don't conflict with the original game files. So I'm going to open the launcher, go to mods, mod tools, create mod, we'll call it the Civil War mod, we'll give it the version number, we'll call this the Civil War, gameplay, create mod, done. And now we can start creating the files that we need. Now I will be creating the civil war in the Soviet Union with the focus that's concerned with the Great Purge. And you will be able to use the same code in all other aspects of the game. So the same syntax will also work in events and decisions. So let's open first of all our mod. Go to our civil war mod. And in here I'm going to put the relevant files from the vanilla game. So we'll need the common folder. From the common folder, I will need the national focus folder. And from here, I'm going to copy the Soviet focus tree, just like this. Excellent. Another file that I would like to open is the ideologies file, since we will be concerning ourselves with ideologies in the game, and it's handy to have this file available and open. So let's open this thing. And now I want to change the Great Purge to start a civil war in the Soviet Union. So I will search for that focus. We'll just search for Purge. Here we are. SOV, Soviet the Great Purge. Excellent. So I'm going to go down here to the completion reward and I'm going to remove everything between this opening bracket and this closing one. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and just select all of this thing. Please make sure that your opening bracket is closed properly because if this is not the case, if there's a bracket missing here or there is too many brackets then that could cause the focus not to function correctly you can make sure of that by going to the start of the focus and making sure that this bracket closes properly like this so for example if i didn't have this bracket in here this bracket would not close correctly i would not have the closing bracket and that means that the focus is not working correctly all right let's move on so now i just need to put the Civil War syntax in here. Now I have already prepared it and I'm going to paste it in here. You will also be able to find it in the description of this video and on the hard one for modding wiki. So this is our syntax. And what I want to do now is to just figure out what's going on in here. What are all of these parameters that I can use and how they affect the Civil War that will happen. Okay, so the first thing we have is start civil war. This is a command that tells the game to start a civil war. Next we have ruling party. So this is the ruling party of the current country, the country that we or the AI is playing. You don't really need this parameter unless you want to change the ideology of the country when the civil war starts. So for example, if we are starting a civil war in the Soviet Union, and I want them to become fascists once the civil war begins, then I can change it here, but I don't really need it, so I'm just going to remove it. Ideology is the ideology of the country that will be created for the civil war and that will have the civil war against the Soviet Union. Now, I want them to be democratic, so I'm just going to type democratic in here. Now you can get a list of all of these ideologies from the 00ideologies file. That's in the vanilla game folder. 
hard to find for common ideologies and in there you have the file and in here you can just use the names of these ideologies for the civil war next we have size so size determines two things first of all it's the amount of territory that the revolting country will receive the country that will be created for the civil war and it also determines how many troops of the total number of troops that the country has the revolting country will get now the numbers go from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 1.0 being 100 percent so for example if i wanted to do a 50 50 split then i will just type 0 0.5 and that means that each country will get 50 percent we also have a syntax here called only own territory but for some reason that syntax doesn't really seem to be working anymore so you can just remove that next we have capital so here you can set the capital of the revolting country now this capital is a state number so in order for you to locate it you will need to go into the game in debug mode locate the state number and just type it in here if you don't know how to access debug mode please take a look at the separate lesson that i have for activating and accessing debug mode now for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to remove this thing since i want the game to choose the capital randomly next we have states so states are the states that the revolting country will receive and this is something that you can set manually however it's very important that you understand the following previously i said that size determines the split in territory right so each country will get approximately 50 percent of the total territory of the country now if you input the states parameter so for example if you leave one state in here the revolting country will only receive one state even if size is at 50 percent okay that is because you told the game that you only want the revolting country to get one state. So it ignores the size and just gives it the states that have been assigned to it. They will still, however, receive 50% of the total armed forces. So there's a bit of conflict between these two parameters. And if you want the civil war to be completely dynamic and you don't want to assign states manually, it's best to just remove this parameter completely, like so. Great, next we have keep unit leaders. So this is a way for you to give the revolting country, the country that's being created, the military leaders of the current country. Now, these are uh, ID numbers for these leaders. And you can actually locate these IDs by going to the vanilla game folder, going to history, countries. We'll open the Soviet Union file in here. And if you scroll down here to where you see lines like create Navy leader, or create corpse commander and so on some of these leaders will have id numbers assigned to them let me just do a quick search in here so that we can find them okay for example here we have andrei vlasov and he has his own id number but for now since i want this war to be as dynamic as possible i'm going to remove this thing as well so we are going to have a 50-50% split of the country where a civil war will begin with the democratic ideology in the Soviet Union. Great, so now that we have this thing ready, let's just make sure to save the file, activate the mod and see if it works in game. Okay, so we're here in the Soviet Union. I'm going to open the focus tree and do the Great Purge National Focus. Now I have shortened it significantly so it will only take us 7 days to complete. And once it is finished we should have a civil war with the democratic ideology. Okay, so here we go, we have the Russian Federation revolting here. Now while it may not look like a 50-50% split, you do have to remember that some of the states here are much smaller than they are in here so the game does calculate it not in terms of the size of the state but the number of states right okay so we have our civil war ready and now stick around just to see how we can make these civil wars more dynamic so that you don't have to input the popularity of the ideology manually and the game can just do this calculation on its own okay so this is a small tip from me to you 
Now I will have this code in the description of this video so you can just copy it from there. Basically what it tells the game is that it needs to check the party popularity of the ideology that's going to declare the war. It will then store it in a variable and then we will just tell the game to use that variable in size. So it's going to be like this since I want a democratic revolt. I'm just going to change here after party popularity democratic. You don't need to change this line and in here in size I'm just going to change it the following so it's going to be var and I'm going to put civil war strength in here and then we can save it. So what will happen now is that for example if the democratic ideology in the Soviet Union has 70% popularity then they will have 70% split for the civil war right. So if they have 20% popularity, then they will have a 20% split in both army and territory. So you don't need to do this calculation or to put input this number beforehand manually. This is all we have for now. I encourage you all to share your dinosaurs with your fellow men outside of Hardfire 4. And I will see you in the next lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.